Do you like doing it your way or God's way? <laughs> Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week we're in chapter 23, brand new chapter of 1 Samuel. I've titled this chapter, Your Way or the Lord's Way. So this week you will see two men function as kings. One will do it his way. The other will do it the Lord's way. I will let you figure out which one does it which way. <laughs> Let's begin with 1 Samuel 23 verses 1 through 5. And it will be instantly clear how this all plays out. Now they told David, behold, the Philistines are fighting against Kyla and are robbing the threshing floor. So Kyla, just quick pause, Kyla is a, a small town, small village on the west side of Israelite territory. And a threshing floor is a place where a farmer would smash out grain. So what's happening is the Philistines are robbing an Israelite village or town. Verse 2, therefore David inquired of the Lord, shall I go and attack these Philistines? And the Lord said to David, go and attack the Philistines and save Kyla. Not sure that's what it sounds like, but we can imagine. But David's men said to him, behold, we are afraid here in Judah. How much more than if we go to Kyla against the armies of the Philistines? Then David inquired of the Lord again, again. And the Lord answered him, arise and go to Kyla, for I will give the Philistines into your hand. And David and his men went to Kila and fought with the Philistines and brought away their livestock and struck them with a great blow. So David saved the inhabitants of Kila. So David has a lot going on in his life right now, doesn't he? But he never quits his job or abandons his calling. He never quits his job or abandons his calling. This is a good reminder for you. Because sometimes you will experience seasons where there's a lot going on. This is not a time to abandon your calling. This might be the time to actually lean into it more because the enemy is working to distract and divert you, distract and divert you from the work that God wants you to do. Because the enemy loves getting you all worked up about peripheral matters so you won't worry about what actually matters. So if your life is full right now, it's full, focus on fulfilling your calling. But... David knows if he moves to fulfill his calling and save the people of Kyla, it's this is going to put him between two enemies, the Philistines and Saul, the Philistines and Saul. You see, Kyla was located on the west edge of Israelite territory, closer to Gebeah, where Saul was. So at this moment, David has a decision to make, but he does what a great spiritual leader will do. He inquires of God. Instead of being stubborn and seeking his own will, just doing what he wants, he submits to the Lord's will and, well, seeks what God wants to do. And you know, great leaders never let their drive, determination, and desires, their drive, determination, and desires override the will of the Lord. You know, during the running years, David never forgot that the battle and the victory were the Lord's. The battle and the victory were were the Lord's. He had a calling, but that calling never overrode the fact that he believed he was to inquire of the Lord every single time. And you have to remember that too. There's a calling that God has on your life. You should live out this calling with drive and determination, but you should never let your will override the will of God's. It's the Lord who gave you this calling. <laughs> the Lord has a way he wants you to steward your calling. You should heed his direction so he wins in the end and gets all the glory through you. God, today we give our callings to you. May we live it out with drive and determination, but never according to our will, but your will for your glory. Amen. I love you guys. Be blessed. We'll see you right back here again tomorrow.